And Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro is back with us this afternoon. Yet that video we just showed looked absolutely it was perfect tonight, sir, this afternoon. Yeah, exactly. Different story, though, as we head into the middle of next week. All eyes are on Hurricane Lee, and we will likely be seeing indirect impacts come Tuesday, Wednesday of next week with dangerous rip currents as well as those high seas. So it's important to make sure that you're staying weather aware. You want to take you out to the la latest track. It came down at 5 o'clock this evening. Right now, we're looking at 130 mile per hour sustained winds. So it is a very strong category 4 storm, likely going to be coming at Cat 5 sometime tomorrow and holding on to that strength through Saturday. Then we're going to see the storm slow down. So those top sustained winds not going to be quite as high at about 150 miles per hour through Sunday. But that slowdown means that it's at the latitude of Miami by the time next Tuesday comes around. So we still have a lot of time to see longer term where this storm is heading. I want to let you know right now the tropical models have it make a curve up to the north. But the National Hurricane Center is saying, well, we're still not exactly sure on what's going to be happening by this time next week. So it's very important that that you are sticking with us here in the Fox 35 Storm Center for the latest. I do want to take you out to that satellite view. You can see the well-defined eye, which has just come about in the last few hours. This storm is expanding from end to end more than 300 miles, and it's likely only going to grow in size as we head into the next few days. I do want to take you out to one of our forecast models, the American model, doing a great job at showing that we could be seeing some fringe effects in the Leeward Islands come this weekend, but eventually, at least according to this model, it is going to be moving off to the north. There's a dip in the jet stream, so we're going to be waiting on the exact timing. So if you do have any family or friends that live from coastal Carolinas all the way up the eastern seaboard into Canada, they are going to be needing to keep a close eye on some impacts by the end of next week. What we do know is that the storm is going to grow, and that's when we see Tuesday, Wednesday, all of those rough seas as you can see that center of Lee is going to be getting closer to the US so it's important to stay vigilant and we'll be bringing you updates online as well as on air tropical storm Margo did form at five and could become a cat one hurricane by sometime this weekend do you want to take you out to Western Marion County and we're monitoring still some heavy rain right along US 27 there it's starting to fizzle out no one else really seeing the rain it's not till tomorrow that you could be seeing heavy rain, frequent lightning, as well as gusty winds in Palm Coast, Daytona Beach, Sanford, Bithlow, even Leesburg by 1, 2 o'clock. Everything shifting to our east coast by 3, 4 o'clock and then continuing through the Orlando Metro all the way into Gainesville until around 7 p.m. Something to keep in mind for any of those evening plans that you do have for your Friday night. Forecast highs tomorrow at 91 degrees just due to the increase in shower and thunderstorm activity. Rain chances hold on to 30% by early next week and those forecast highs remain in the low 90s with wake-up temperatures in the mid 70s. John and Luann.